Hello, this is Jacopo. Uh, my name is Giovanni. Hello, good morning. We took part to the project of the ambassadors of Yerena uh, because we are interested in uh, rural tourism. We, we have our own project we sh that we share with other people in, in Italy that is called Piano Piano Toscana. And uh, we came here to learn new things and to see how Irena is interesting, uh, how they are doing to promote the, the town. Yes, because we are running this uh, kind of startup, and so we are we are very interested in see how uh, the what was the rural um, development approach they have here in Irena about tourism and in general how to. Uh, valorize this kind of uh, uh, rural areas. So let's start with the interview, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. I, I will do an interview. Because he's the journalist, to be yeah. honest. I am the. I'm supposed to be a journalist. The VIP. <laughs> so, please, Giovanni, what was the thing that surprised you the most about your end? Well, you know, my dear friend Jacopo, Ed. <laughs> And uh, what really surprised me a lot uh, when I came here by bus from Sevilla is that the land, okay, the land all around Girena really looks like uh, some southern territory in Italy. So, and it was really amazing to see how also the, the food really more or less uh, is the same. They cooked in a different way, of course, but it's really amazing to see how lands uh, more or less in all the Mediterranean area look like. It really surprised me also how a very small village like this has a different uh, kind of life during the day that this looks like a little bit abandoned. Um, and in the night really uh, people come comes out from their houses and start to enjoy the nightlife. Uh, uh, how would you descri describe Yerena to your family once that you, you reach them? Well, uh, I not should describe the city because my mother will ask me every single detail, so I will be obliged to do to tell everything. But um, considering that, for example, my father uh, is originally from southern Italy, I will describe that more or less the lifestyle is more or less the same. So uh, people uh, get up quite um, later than um, in the rest of Europe, let's say. Um, they do like the siesta, and but um, they are really warm people, and they really enjoy to spend a, a small time to uh, chat with you and introduce you uh, the, the town for for yeah, what they know. We really felt at home, right? Yeah, they were all very warming and very uh, happy to to share something, and also even all a small, uh, a simple smile, let's say. And uh, let me know what are the activities you have, you have enjoyed more so far here during the seminar. Yeah, during the seminar, these days in your end. Yes, yeah, the the, the Adeter was really. Uh, I think they managed to uh, to build a very nice week for for us, and to uh, felt to to manage to feel uh, like a very good ambassador of this territory, not only Jarena, uh, because we managed to see different things like the natural part, uh, with the natural cave, uh, the mine, um, the small lake that has been um, managed to be like a place where you can do some kind of um, sport activities. Um, but also I also enjoyed like the, uh, the possibility to walk around in Irena and see the churches, the monument and all the stuff. Uh, what do you think are the strong points of Urena and, and why? Uh, so I think that the good point, a very good point is the, the thing that people here can be uh, the, um, the, the protagonist, let's say, of this rural development uh, tourism because they are really uh, willing to, uh, to talk with people and another strong point is the gastronomy. I think that is quite uh, uh, interesting. I mean, for at least for Mediterranean people, or also for Northern Europe, uh, Northern Europe people. And our friends of Yerena, they are so proud about the food here. And they really, they like really so proud. much to show to other people and introduce to their food. And how would you improve this local city to be even better? 
Okay, so we were discussing this about about this with all the other participants, and uh, maybe the public transport is really one uh, very important issue. If uh, Yerena administration wants to uh, have more visitors here, because uh, we come from uh, Sevilla Airport, and there were only two uh, um, buses. Uh, along the whole day, and we were quite likely to catch one, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actually, it was late. The bus, it was late. So, so it was, the, the we bus was catch. late. We are very happy to be in the Southern Europe, so every delay is an opportunity. Uh, but definitely, the public transport has to be uh, an area of improvement. Yeah, yeah. It looks like in Italy that buses are always late. And uh, yes. Ciao ragazzi, ciao.